life, 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 the life, all game, all song, do you have what it takes to make the call, the life, I'm Mike Bibby, and this is my life, hey, here's something new, a guy who lets his game do the talking, the life, it all comes down to this, play to win every time and you're on top of the list, the life, life, life. Okay. All rise for the quiet king. Mike Bibby is holding court. Go get him, mama, go get him. The life, 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 life. Sacramento. California's capital. Home court for the game of government. Big time deals get done here every day. Mike Bibby and his 16 points and eight and a half assists per game sent to Sacramento for Jason Williams. That's right, Jay Will. He's brought a real calm to this franchise that probably needed some calm uh, to get to the next level like that. And a lot of people think it was the, the most lopsided trade in the offseason. Oh, what a touch by Mike Bibby. That's no easy shot. Here's Bibby the other way. It looked pretty. <laughs> and he gets right by Jason Williams. Nice move by Mike Bibby. It seemed like he'd been playing on this team for five years. I knew what kind of players there were, but I didn't know how cool everybody was. You know, my first couple of days here, everybody felt, made me feel... Like I've been on the team my whole career. Bibby the inside the three-point arc launches from 21 and gets it. Mike Bibby. You know, having him here has been great for us, and I, I know he likes being here, winning from uh, Vancouver, so it's been a good match. Bibby's been looking to be a little more aggressive in this ball game tonight, and it's paid off. He's a champion. He already has a college championship, and I know he's going to help us get one here. Bibby down the lane. Bibby. Oh, he got into the match. Mike's just a big kid at heart. He's very down to earth. Not what you would think an NBA player would be like. A uh, Michael Bibby. Y'all talk to the team? Yeah. He's kind of silly in his own way, but I, I get a kick out of just being around him. You know? He's a funny guy. He has an unusual laugh. <laughs> Bibby has the Kings cruising in the playoffs. A place he's never been. Then again, he doesn't get out much. Basically, he eats the same thing every morning, which is um, two pancakes, a bagel and a half with j grape jelly, and five pieces of turkey bacon. Pretty easy. Probably do it with my eyes closed. Scooby-Doo. I've been watching this since I was young, so I like to watch cartoons when I eat. I could have made a fortune if you nosy kids had butted in. Come here. What's the one? Come on, let's go outside. You want to go outside? Let's go outside. Change the diaper real quick. The highest moment in my life is both when both of my children were born. You know what I mean? You're bringing something into the world that you have to take care of. You know, growing up, you know, you were taken care of. And, you know, I mean, that's probably the two biggest times in my life was when my children were born. <laughs> you know, I still, you know, play video games. I like to hang out with my friends and, you know, to do stuff, you know, that kids do. That's why I want to have a, I want to have a kid when I was younger, too, so I'd be able to relate. And, you know, that's, I wouldn't be as old to him and I wouldn't be able to play with him because I was too old. You know, just I just do things, 
you know, just like a kid does. Where are you going? Where are you going? Well, off the court, you know, Mike's a pretty quiet guy, so I'm pretty quiet too, so it's just going to be some quiet times between both of us. Uh, he's a good family man, and, uh, you know, I beat up his kids all the time. If I see his kids out there, I'm going to beat them up the next time I see them too. My brother, that is my niece, my, this is my daughter, Janae. Come on, Dane, Teresa, Tony, Wackery. <laughs> Who's that? That's Holmes Bibby right Michael, now. Michael, that's my son. And that's my nephew, Isaiah. And Darcy just left. She'll be back. My family comes first, you know, from my kids to my grandma. So I know what my responsibilities are. And where they stand, you know, if the situation came up to do this or this, I would know which one to pick. Yeah, look at the hippo! Oh, come on, go get the hippo! Yeah, no, no, I know how. Let's see. I'm serious! Give me a break, Uncle Mike! You haven't did it yet! Get that! Oh, then Dr. J hit threes. You see how he started? My brother lives right behind me. Yeah. And my other brother so lives a couple, like a block down the street. And so, you know, I wanted to make sure that we could, you know, walk to each other's house and we didn't have to, you know, so my kids could play with my brother's kids whenever they wanted. I get up every morning with him. I'm there from start to finish. So that way he feels that, you know, he's not doing it all by himself. You know, he basically takes care of us. So, I mean, why not get up and help him go through what he has to go through so it makes it that much easier for him. See what they just tried to make me do? So. Miss a layup with Will. I mean with Shaq. Make sure you get the whole game on tape so you can see his face at the beginning and yeah, then towards the end. Probably end up cheating again because he's trying to do that right now. I'm not letting it happen though. Hurry up! Hurry up! Put this bed on, my guy. Right. It's a young Mike right here. Who's that, Mom? Who's that? Daddy. His kids mean the world to him. He's the best father. He's a kid himself, so whatever they do, he enjoys. Mike Bibby, the greatest, man. He cool. <laughs> Yeah, you be getting down, man, right on. Happy birthday, fellas. How old are you guys? Six. Man, this is exciting. Thank you. Yes. I'm going to show all my guns. <laughs> I like people coming up to me, you know, so I can meet people, you know, talk, and, you know, meet their kids. And, and that's just the same way I was growing up. I watch you play ball all the time, so I, you got to do it again. For me to be rude to somebody or to a family isn't me. You know, I wouldn't want people to do that to me, so I wouldn't do it to people. To me, he loves his family. You know, you can see that. You know, his kids, his mom, his brothers, sisters. Um, I mean, he loves them. I mean, every time he goes to the store, he, he got five or six bags. You know, he's, you know, he's trying to get things for them. And whenever we go to Nike Town, whatever, I mean, he's getting things for his family, man. And that's something I respect. You know, they're very close net. I like to buy stuff, you know, for my kids. You know, shoes, clothes. I'm going to get them whatever they want, regardless of what people, you know, saying they don't need it or you're spoiling them too much. You know, if that's what they want, I can get it for them. I'm going to get it for them. So, why the focus on family? Good question. It deserves a good answer. More with Mike, straight ahead. The Life is presented to you by Sprite. Obey your thirst.